It's time for another episode of Curmudgeon Movie Reviews. Thank God The Power of the Dog did not win the Best Picture Oscar. Had it done so, it would have finally unseated Lawrence of Arabia as the most boring Oscar winner of all time. That's a distinction that Lawrence has held for six decades. It's like one of those world records that you think will never be broken. There have been many aspirants to this distinction. Annie Hall springs to mind. But for just sheer boredom, no Oscar winner has come close. Lawrence, that three-and-a-half-hour tribute to serious overacting, is so boring that they had an intermission halfway through so the audience could wake up, go to the restroom before continuing the quest for the ultimate cure for insomnia. But at least I could watch the whole movie. Uh, we watched one-third of The Power of the Dog, and my wife and I looked at each other, and we decided to turn over and watch something more intellectually stimulating, Episodes of Psych. Now, I love Benedict Cumberbatch. I think he's a great actor, but his casting in this dog is has to be the record for the most misca miscast character ever in any movie. It's painful try, watching him trying to simulate a Western accent. And when he gets on a horse, you fully expect his hat to blow off and his pants to fall off, revealing a black helmet and jodhpurs. The overall effect is that of someone who's never been on a horse in his life until the until filming this movie. And that hat. <laughs> It evokes the image of a dude from back east trying to look like a cowboy. By contrast, Coda is a great movie, uh, well-deserving of the Oscar. Now, Hollywood is very capable of the highly improbable act involving a head and a derriere, but at least this time they got it right, giving Coda the best picture. In the category of movies that won an Oscar, when another was much more deserving, Titanic stands alone. It won the Best Picture Oscar in the same year that as good as it gets, had won the Best Actor Oscar for Jack Nicholson, Best Actress uh, Oscar for Helen Hunt. Uh, it's not that Titanic is a bad movie, uh, even though everyone in the world knew exactly what was going to happen before they came into the theater. It's just not as good as good. So, these are one curmudgeon's humble opinions.